They say that on a clear day you can see forever. But it's at night when it seems as though you can almost reach the stars here in Chile's Atacama Desert. It's why astronomers like Ested Linded spend their nights here analyzing data from telescopes at the La Silla Observatory. Because in the end we want to know if there is life. A relatively small telescope, TRAPPIST, here at the La Silla Observatory Center, was instrumental in the recent remarkable discovery of a sun with seven planets, similar in size and temperature to Earth's. But astronomers now need something more, the 25-meter GMT, or Giant Magellan Telescope, the first of a new generation of so-called Extremely Large Telescopes, or ELTs, the largest ever built. The GMT will help scientists determine not just the existence, but the atmosphere of other planets. What's the aim of that? We would like to detect biological activity. In other words, life in any form which we cannot predict, don't want to predict, in other planets. So it's going to be the biggest discovery. It's like the Holy Grail. The living quarters for astronomers and engineers have already been completed at what will be the Magellan Observatory, awaiting the arrival of the billion-dollar 22-story GMT telescope that will be perched at the top of this hill. When it comes to the universe, we see what we can, not what exists. So that's the beauty of the telescope that's being built right here. When it's finished, it will allow us to see more than we ever have before of an immense universe that's constantly changing. As I mentioned before, this is... The Deputy construction manager Francisco Figueroa explains why the Atacama Desert, with its seven observatory centers, has become the Silicon Valley for astronomy. The weather conditions are very stable along the year. We have almost 300 nights, you know, without clouds here. So that makes perfect conditions for a telescope. We almost concentrate, we will be concentrating almost 70% of the optical, astronomical uh, potential of the, of the whole world. It will be another five years before the GMT is ready, soon to be followed by even larger telescopes. No time at all when you consider that right now to reach the newly discovered planetary system by spaceship would take at least a thousand years.